uh, Saturday afternoon. What time is it? Hey Google, what time is it? It's 6.32 p.m. No. Hey Google, it's beer o'clock. Beer o'clock is used as a noun as a humorous term to mean an appropriate time of day for starting to drink beer. Do you want to hear beer o'clock used in a sentence? It's beer o'clock. So, this is our first beer of today. I already drank this, so um, it was delicious, man. It's an XPA, Extra Pale Ale by Fury and Son. They're a father-son team out in, in Melbourne. It's a very nice beer. They put out some good stuff. Um, so this XPA, uh, what have we got here? Let's see what we've got. A few hops in here. Nelson Savorn, Simcoe, and uh, Mandarina Bavaria, so, which is a new hop. I've never really tried that. What is it called? Mandarina Bavaria or whatever before. But um, nice balance um, of hops. Good malt, pro malt profile. Not, not, not too heavy on the malt, which with an extra pale ale is not uh, something you want anyway. But uh, no, I highly recommend. 4.2%, so on the lower side of it, so you could probably smash five or six of these and be good to go so if you're in sun xpa very nice all right brew number two ella juice by the three ra three ravens um in thornbury so that's another melbourne brewery and uh so i don't know about this you got a picture of a straw. I ain't drinking a beer out of straw, that's for sure. Six percent spicy, floral, and juicy. So let's get a. This is what she looks like. Let's get a good taste. All right. Oh yeah, juicy. Let mm. me try that again. Not uh, not blowing my socks off, that's for sure. Ella. All right, let's have a look. Like I said, 6% alcohol. Uh, unfiltered India pale ale with low bitterness and a smooth mouthfeel. Combining protein-rich wheat and oats, fruity yeast and ala hops to give the impression of a breakfast juice. So yeah, you get the, you get the breakfast juice in it. But, uh, what else we got? Keep cold. This consumed wind's picking up. Hopefully, that's not coming through there. This consumed within a few weeks of packaging date. See so a base of can. A few weeks. Okay. Drink fresh packed. 19th of the 5th, 20. Well, that's fucking seven months old. That's not a few fucking weeks, is it? Maybe, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but. Yeah, that's uh, missing something, <laughs> that's for sure. It's, uh, yeah, it's juicy. But um, the cans are blowing everywhere. Yeah, it's uh, missing something, man. A neeper. Neepers are usually juicier and i got more guts to them, more bite, more kick. But that's uh, not thrilled with that one. Three Ravens, I haven't had too many of their beers, but... Uh, don't, don't rate this one too highly as the can blows away. All right, we're on to beer three. Here we go. Slick Rick by Yuli's Brews. Now Yuli's Brews, I'm guessing they're in south um, of Queensland or north, yeah, New South Wales they are. Yuli's Brews. I first came across their brews when I was in Queensland two years ago. Um, I met with some of their team back then and uh, tried their beers. Tremendous. So Slick Rick's a new one though. It's a, what is it? It's a red. Looks like a bit of a red. What are we, 
Rampaging Red Ale. Okay, let's try this bad boy. Yeah, it smells good. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's very nice. What have we got on this? What info have we got? Uh, brewed with a combination of five carefully selected malt. Oh, that's a lot of malts. Five different malts. Um, three pungent US and Australian hop varieties. Uh, um, let's see. Rich caramel malt flavours with a hint of roast and chocolate. So it's almost uh, with um, roast and chocolate, you get those kind of in porters or stouts even. So with a red, a darker colour as you can see. Don't go rick fuck. Put it here out of the wind. But that's. Uh, Yeah, that's very nice. That's very nice. I like this brewery. They're a good brewery. They don't get enough no, uh, notoriety, these these guys. See, if you ever see Muley's Brews, get on them. It's a good brewery, man. What else we got? Uh, Vic Secret Hops. Um, and they use hops Amarillo and Chinook. Okay, so my last home brewer, I used a bit of Chinook hops in that. And Amarillo is always, you know, there in a good, in a good brew as well. Um, yeah, that's nice. Quite like that one. Slick Rick. Let's see, we've got what else we got on here. Rick's a sports car you once wanted but couldn't afford. Rick's a pair of uh, Okanias minus the draw cord. Rick's your best mate's brother's mate you've never really met. Yeah, that looks like you, me. Eh? Uh, Rick's a pair of Oakley Fro skins worn around your neck. Rick's a job at Blockbuster you never applied for. Rick's the bloke who will have your back until he sneaks out the back door. Rick's a Sunday afternoon of laughter, loud and clear. But one thing to remember, Rick loves a beer. Very nice. So Yuli's Brews is rampaging red. It's very, very nice. That's a very tasty beer. What's the percentage on this? 6.2%. Not bad. All right, so this is gonna be the last beer in this video. Hill to Home, Hazy IPA, by Hargraves Hill. Of course I love Hargraves Hill. My last name is Hargraves, so you know I'm gonna review some of their beers and they've put out some tremendous beers um, in the past. And this one, let's see, it's a Hazy IPA. I love a Hazy, 6.5%. Um, Let's see, a collaboration hazy IPA delivering soft mouth feel and big hop flavour. This beer has been triple dry hopped. It's had intense character of relatively low bitterness. So this is a Hops to Home brew. Hops to Home, they do a service where they del deliver beers monthly. I don't go through them, I go through Craft Cartel to get monthly. Monthly beers sent to me. They, none of these beers I'm doing it from Craft Cartel. These are my my own, you know, choosing beers. So here she is. Look at that. Whew, smells tremendous. Oh yeah. That's juicy as fuck. Look at them, Hargreaves Hill. You little savages, you. No info on what hops are in here. I might, I might be able to find it online, but oh, that's a very nice. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's a really unique flavour in that. I don't know what this hop is. Triple dry hopped with what? Oh, that's very tasty. That's really tasty. <coughs> nice haze in it. Look at this haze. Look at that. Look at that haziness in there. Tremendous. So yeah, I'll just do the four beers in this video. So another thing I want to put out there is 
the beerthrone.com now you can um, order through them you can uh, they've reached out and um, if you order and use my name Simon at checkout you can get a 10% off your order so beerthrone.com they have like beer apparel you got you know hoodies and t-shirts caps and you got glassware bottle openers all kinds of shit there it's tremendous so thank you guys for coming on board and offering that discount code you put in Simon at checkout you get 10% off your order who looks after you like her do nobody all right Hargraves Hill tremendous beerthrone.com thank you and uh, if you want to see all of the beers I review the um, pictures and a little write up or whatever you can find me on Instagram Simon underscore reviews underscore beers or is it beer Simon reviews beer yeah I'll put a link in here anyway I'll put it up on the screen or whatever so that's where I do most of my beer stuff I, I haven't really branched into YouTube too much yet but um, maybe I will for some beers fuck that's tasty so uh yeah beerthrone.com i mean if you want to order something from there get 10 percent off i don't give a frenchman's fuck if you do or not but if you do you get 10 percent off and uh yeah instagram simon underscore reviews underscore beers or beer i'll put the link in there i forget my own fucking username but uh thanks for watching and uh drink up